Son, what on earth are you doing? You mustn't. I thought we were allies. Hello everyone, I'm Kang Yun, aka Cricket, aka Cloud, and welcome back to Chang'e's journey through Boletaria. In the last episode, we took out the Storm King, and we did the Pure White World Tendency events in the Shrine of Storms. I was able to farm some um, Moonlight Stone to get my... Moon Wing Spear to plus five, and in between that episode and this one, I also did some more farming for Mercury Stone um, alongside farming the other lizards in Latria, or I guess the really the only the only other one I had to do outside of that first one was the one in the middle of the second level, and I was able to get my um, Mercury. Spiral Rapier to plus five, as well as get. I got a bunch of. Uh, I had just enough chunks of Moonlight Stone and um, Pures to get uh, a weapon to plus five. I just needed to buy some farm slash buy some shards of Moonlight Stone, but we were able to get this. Um, Hooked sword, two plus five, um, a moon moon hooked sword plus five, which is pretty good. It's a curved sword and will allow us to bypass shields on its uh, R two attacks. It's pretty cool. I thought sticking with the uh, theme of uh, Chang'e and, and moonlight, this sort of has the shape of a, a moon, a crescent moon. Um, and I did farm. The other three, the first three crystal lizards in the Shrine of Storms. I got a lot of, uh. Hello again. I'm keeping a uh, Dark Moon Stone was able to, or Moon Shadow Stone rather, was able to get my, uh, Crescent Rapier to plus five. We have 32 shards, one chunk, and one pure. We did happen to get two pures from the uh, crystal lizard. Remember how, how I missed out on the first two spawns on that lizard in the sh uh, f in Shrine of Storm's ritual path? The one that's on that ledge? Well, I killed it twice and it happened to drop um, I think two or four chunks and then it dropped two, one, sh one pure each kill. So that was pretty lucky. Um, and so we have one pure remaining. I did not farm the ones in the Storm King boss room, which I will be showing shortly. You have a heart of gold. Um, but what I do want to show is actually that um, I want to make the uh, Estak or the Chuan Jia Jian, the piercing, the pierce armor sword, the armor piercing sword. I want to make this crescent plus five as well. And I think that will be most of... We'll, we are going to make a bow still. But that will be most of what I'll be wanting to upgrade through this playthrough. Along with the um, Jerry Stiletto and the uh, Chris Blade. But we'll need Colorless Demon Souls for those. Um, I did also want to quickly go over... As I've been showing these throughout the playthrough, this is the uh, Feng Bao Er Mao Zhi Hun, the Storm Demon Soul, the the uh, soul of the uh, Feng Bao Wang, the Storm King. That's a one-to-one -one translation. Feng Bao, being a windstorm. I really like the look of this Demon Soul. It's very cool. And I said this before, but I do like how in Demon Souls, each Demon Soul has its own unique um, artwork, I will say, or design. Um, and we will be making the Morion 
or Morian blade, however you pronounce it. Uh, so we'll be needing more hard stone, but to get our our S stock to into a crescent or a crest stock, as you might want to call it, crescent S stock or a new moon piercing armor piercing sword, we will need um, shards and large shards of sharp stone. Um, but rather than sort of farm them, a good way is to just buy them and. It gives me a good opportunity to show a pretty simple and not too time-consuming farming route. Um, you'll want to have equipped the Ring of Magical Sharpness, your Chris Blade. You will want to put on the Monk's Head Wrappings if you've gotten them, which is it's ideal to have them at this point. And the Ring of Avarice and the Silver Bracelets if you're playing on a female. Because we're doing a soul farm here. And you'll want to have Cloak and uh, fireball for this. And you go to the Storm King boss room. And um, we are going to be going forward into into the, uh, the monolith area there to kill the crystal lizards. But before I do that, I just want to quickly show, and this should get me enough souls to buy the sh shards of sharp stone that I need. But you just go backwards through this level and just be mindful of the floating proximity mines. And when you come to the stairs, you want to cast Cloak. And then um, as soon as you're able to lock on, you want to... Yeah, there's the Reaper, and we one-shot that Reaper, and we'll get 8,000 souls. And then there's just three more enemies we can kill. The first one is a little tricky. You can use Soul Remains to do this. Uh, German Spy showed this in his playthrough. But what I like to do, you can use uh, Homing Soul Ray, Homing Soul Arrow, but if you're quick about it, You can three-shot this black phantom who drops 17,000 souls if you have the setup like I'm doing. Um, that's a uh, black phantom, black dual katana skeleton. And here, you'll want to recast cloak because we have, like, no health. Oh, and I should also mention that if you look, my uh, I was able to level up to level 70. I got my faith to 16, so all that's left for... Us to get to 80 is to get 10 more points of vitality. So we'll cast Cloak here. And then we'll cast uh, Homing Soul Arrow. Which will, if they all hit, will take these guys out in one go. There we go. Yeah, they have a thousand... HP those guys and that's the farm and you see starting this I had 300 souls and by doing that I have 44,900 so this gives you just under 4,500 45,000 souls oh and I misspoke when talking to that statue I said it cost 2,500 of course it's 25,000 um, and then we can um, Equip our talisman and evacuate. Oh, we'll really need some spice. But that's the farming route, guys. That's a pretty easy way to get a ton of souls in under, you know, under three to five minutes. Left, definitely less than five minutes doing that. It's pretty quick. Um, so that's more than enough souls to get us what we need. buy uh, the sharp stone so we'll go we'll go buy that sharp stone and then I can show you guys uh, farming off the crystal lizards in the uh, storm king boss room to get the rest of the uh, um, moon shadow stone that will hopefully hopefully I don't I think if we're missing some sh we'll likely be short on some shards 
If we're short on chunks, we can farm the Reapers for those. But hopefully we'll be able to get all of... There's two Crystal Lizards in there. So that's eight kills, which should get us a lot of uh, Moon Shadow Stone. Oh no, we don't want to go... Well, I think we might have enough large shards of Sharp Stone. Though I'm not sure. If we do have to go buy some from the Filthy Man in the uh, second part of the... Uh, Stone Fang Mines, we'll uh, just go do that, but I'm pretty sure we'll just be able to buy buy like, I think 31 should be good enough so we'll go and see if we can't get this to plus 6 And we do ha that was so we, I was right. We needed 31 shards, but we are short three large shards. So we'll go we'll go buy those real quick. We'll go to the uh, second part and buy them. Um, I did not learn second... Ch well, I think I'm pretty sure I learned second chance, but I did not equip it yet. Okay, this should just one-shot this guy. Um, it's noteworthy that I forgot if I pointed this out or not, but um, when I had 30 magic, when I cast Homing Soul Arrow, I only had four arrows. But once I leveled my magic to 33, I had five. So I'm not sure if the threshold is between 30 and 31, or I guess I didn't. I didn't. I could have tested it, but I, I thought it was 40 that would give you five. But apparently it's. It's between 30, it's either 31 or 33 will give you 5. I'm, ass I'm assuming it's once you have more. Well, we'll see if we get some large shards from these guys, actually. Uh, that's some hard stone. Uh, there's a chunk. Well, while we're here, I can uh, show... I can farm these crystal lizards, I guess. See if we can't, um... There's the two chunks of hardstone we need. Um, you just want to make sure that you come back here to recast Cloak. You want to, because if you, if it wears off while you're in there, the, the lizards will scatter. So I'm being extra cautious here. And then we can just try to take out as many as we can before Cloak wears off. And because... Because of how... Um, Cloak silences your movement, they won't aggro to you at all, which is really nice. The Thief's Ring doesn't do that, because you still make noise when you wear the Thief's Ring. And then this is the last one. Yeah, and there we go. That should, hopefully, yeah, there's some sharp stone. There, there. We don't need to go buy anything. But for any of you who were wondering how to kill these crystal lizards, this is how you do it. If you don't have God's Wrath or Firestorm, you just use Cloak.
use cloak and um, use your strongest spell. You could use soul ray. You could use flame toss, soul arrow. You know, ideally you want to be able to one shot them. Um, when I was when I came here and was using soul arrow last time I did this, I think I two shot them. But as long as you can kill them before they run away, that's the main thing. So, um, we don't need to take this back. We can just warp. But all of those lizards, as you saw, drop a variation of hard or sharp stone or clear stone, and they can drop they tend to drop large shards of sharp or hard or shards of clear or chunks of clear. I was worried sick. Um, I don't think they drop. Yeah, none of them dropped. I think those are some shards of sharp. Or maybe they did drop. Maybe one of them did drop some shards. They tend to not drop the regular shards, though. I guess they can sometimes, but that gives us more than enough. And do we have enough chunks to... Yeah, you can see this is... This is um, a shard of hard stone, large shard of hard stone, chunk of hard stone, and a pure hard stone. So, hard stone and sharp stone have four iterations. The shards, large shards, chunks, and pures. Whereas all the other stones have shards, chunks, and pures. Um, here we have the Dragonstone, we can demonstrate it. We have a shard of Dragonstone, a chunk of Dragonstone, and a pure Dragonstone. We also have the Spider Stone. But yeah, these all have only three. We are in debt. And we should be able to get our shield to plus ten to now. Oh, that's repair. Uh, um... Yep. And... Uh, oh, we're, I guess we need four. We're missing one chunk. Well, that's not a big deal. Do come back alive. Um, but I guess while we're here, we'll go showcase the Crystal Lizard Farm and the Storm King boss room. You do want to... Um... You do want to take out the storm beasts first because they will and we're gonna put this on they will attack you because they they do respawn all those storm beasts there and this is another place to farm if you're wanting to farm oh and actually my bad for these for killing these things, we want Soul Ray because that has a longer range than Fireball. So we'll go get that quickly. It's better than having you bother. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, we'll just get Soul Ray. Um, we don't really. Be careful how you use it. Need anything else just yet. And you shouldn't need the uh, monk's head wrappings to take them out. If you wanted to, you could use the Ring of Avarice to get more souls. Just be cautious, if they do shoot you, they will. There's a good chance they can kill you in pure black tendency. Ooh, well, they didn't quite kill me, but you see, it was very near death. Um.
And yeah, these guys will drop the cloud stone, which I'm not really concerned about. In the original game, you had to make a shield uh, dark plus five to get a trophy, because you had to get it. There was trophies for every weapon upgrade path uh, upgraded to the max level. Ooh, and we're out of MP, so we need to be mindful of that. And that looks like all of them. And these lizards will take more damage from fire. And we want the providential ring. The luck ring. And if we're lucky, we can just run up and one-shot them. Nope, we can't one-shot them. But we can two-shot them. And that one dropped two. So that's four chunks. And I have four more kills to get of those guys. Um, we're gonna see... Hmm... I'd like to just spawn here and farm them, but... I have a feeling that those storm beasts will... Like, if, even if I cast Cloak, one of them will see me. And then... I'll end up dying and I don't want to lose all these souls because I would like to use them to buy any of the remaining shards of uh, moon shadow stone that I'll need because I'm pretty sure we'll have enough chunks and I know we have a pure we got the other pure as I said And this isn't too bad to kill these guys. Just spice up. Um, for these lizards, because we don't one-shot them, we will put on this goofy hat. Oh, there's still one. Where is he? It's like directly above me. There we go. Cast cloak. And this should now one shot them. Yep. That's two more chunks. Two more chunks and a pure. Wonderful. I don't believe these lizards will drop shards. Only the ones in... I think only the lizards in the first part of the level drop shards. But shards are not a hard thing to come by because the reapers almost always drop shards. And you can buy them from Blige if for whatever reason you wanted to. Which I probably will do just for the sake of time and we have, we have all these souls. Mm. 
so there's only two more rounds to do. Bunch of them on us. Paying attention to my MP. And yeah, if obviously if you didn't have magic, if you weren't uh, making the same build as I, you would just use the Storm Ruler or a bow if you have an upgraded bow. Um, the Storm Ruler, by the way, I think I, I don't think I mentioned it, but the Storm Ruler... The Storm Ruler does not, um, have that effect outside of this boss area. Outside of the area, it's just a, uh regular large sword but it has a unique effect in that whenever you um, land an attack with an R1 it will send the opponent flying and it's particularly useful as a troll weapon in PvP there we go And there's just one more time we'll have to do. Yes, yeah, so we already got 10 of these. Plus that pure. So we've gotten three pures overall, which is great. Just once more, hopefully we'll get another pure. I hope this isn't too uh, boring for you guys. I try to limit the amount of farming that I show in this playthrough because I know it's not always um, the most interesting gameplay. But I felt like this was a uh, the farm for the souls and then this because this might be a little bit difficult to get these lizards for some of you if you're not sure how to approach it because there are two of them and you do have to contend with all these storms these you could you could very likely um do this without having to kill them if you just constantly like if you had cloak on the whole time but i mean we're getting look at how many souls we get we get 20 2500 souls for each one of these guys so we're already over a hundred thousand souls so i guess in a way this is also a soul farming spot which is a pretty simple farm as long as you don't get get the uh, shot and just this one guy over here
Okay. And this is the last go. Got them both. No more pures, but that's okay. We did get one pure. And we got a ton of sh chunks, so... Whatever ch shards we're lacking, we'll just go buy. And we can take off this goofy hat. So we'll see. I'm not sure. We sh Oh, we, no, we definitely have enough shards. I think we had like 22 or something when we checked, right? Pretty sure that's what we had. So yeah, we're, we're, we're going to get this thing to uh, plus five now. Which will be uh, our strongest, our strongest piercing sword. What do you need? Yeah, 30, we have 33 shards. 17 chunks. There we go. Yep, we're all done. So this is just to show that um, throughout, you know, one playthrough, doing some farm. Granted, the longest farm took, the longest farming that I had to do was to uh, kill those man centipedes to get enough chunks of mercury stone to get this to plus five. Because I got a ton of... I was what he said. I got a ton of uh, shards, as you see. I got 62 until I finally got exactly enough chunks to get. And I did get one pure. The pure actually dropped before the ch the rest of the chunks did, which th that took a while. And I had to basically go through all of Latria, uh, all through the upper Latria to get to that, get down into the swamp to kill all of those uh, man centipedes. And at the same time, I was killing the other, that lizard that's way down there. That drops the, uh, moon, the moonlight stone. But what I was trying to say is... Um, you can easily get multiple weapons upgraded to their max level in one playthrough. S like, they give you enough stuff to do that. Um, so we got a plus five moon... Our plus five uh, moon wing spear has is our strongest weapon at 349. Um, the like I said, the mercury weapon is not going to be that strong, but it has that 360 poison and 180 bleed. So this is more so for inflicting poison and bleed. Um, <clears throat> the uh, crescent S stock or the crest stock or the new moon armor piercing sword is 320 so that's not bad that's just a bit lower than the moon wing spear then there's the crescent rapier at 300 the moon curve the moon hooked sword at 287 and uh, this is only plus three it's 183 but that's that's the crisp blade we're not really using that as an offensive weapon and same thing with the uh Jerry Stiletto, but we can buff that weapon, which none of these other weapons we can buff. So that's cool. We'll go learn Second Chance now, or, uh, well, uh, yeah, I think we'll attune it. Oh, is that you again? Do you have further offerings? Does he have anything? We must defeat 
the demons and purge the magicians. Yeah, he doesn't really have anything new to say. So we ha we will um forego I evacuate and we will equip second chance. God bless this brain. So we have 134,000 souls. Um well Thou seekest the power of the soul, no? Then touch the demon inside me. We should be able to get Yeah, we well, we can get some more vitality. Withdrawn from its vessel. Let strength be granted so the world might be Yeah, we'll level up. So the world we'll level up our vitality. So 74. Art thou finished? And we'll take out. I did buy more uh, spice. So we'll take out some spice. Oh, I also wanted to point out that while I don't meet the faith requirement, because you need 18 magic and 18 faith for the Talisman of Beasts, um, the magic adjust on this is actually 148, whereas um, the silver is 145, the wooden is 160, so the wooden is still our strongest, but this is our second strongest uh, catalyst, which is cast miracles and uh, spells. Um, it's just, if I were to try to cast a God's Wrath with this, it wouldn't do damage because that's a miracle and we don't meet the faith requirement. But we meet the magic requirements, so it actually will work as a uh, spell tool to use. That wouldn't be bad because we could, also, we could cast second chance and any spells we wanted and, and still do good damage with it. But we're going to stick with the wooden catalyst for now. We are indebted to you. Um, I'm trying to think here. If there's anything else that I wanted to show. Mm. I can forge weapons for you for a fair price. We'll buy a short sword. Do come back alive. Because we want to upgrade that short sword to plus eight to make the Morian blade. And that will be a very useful weapon for going into full hyper mode. For, um. It's use. Full hyper mode is useful for certain situations. I mean, it's useful all the time, really, but specifically, it's useful for killing, um. the dragons in Boletaria. Um, oh, there's another thing I wanted to point out here. Because we've killed three archdemons, Patches will expand his inventory once you kill one archdemon, and then once you kill three, he will expand his inventory a bit more, and then I think once... And then for the fourth archdemon, he'll have max... He'll have maxed out his inventory. Like, he'll sell everything he will... S will sell. No, 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 don't mention it. It's the least I can do for a dear Um and what he now sells is he sells 30 white arrows. Um fine. Fine. We'll, uh, fine. Eat a soul or two to see if we can't buy all 30 of those no, arrows. No, no, no. Yeah, he sells 30 white arrows. And he will now start selling new moon grass. He will sell this in infinite supply for 5,000 apiece. The only source of um, new moon grass you can buy in the game. It's useful more so in New Game Plus when you have a ton of souls. Because you can get new moon grass from drops from the knights in uh, later late in Boletaria. Um, he will also start selling, I, th I think he might have already been selling this, but this is the cat's ring, which nullifies fall damage apart from 
fatal falls, like falls where you would die regardless of how, how much health you have. Um, we have four shards of archstone. Yep, I'm that good. Since we're not going to be using you evacuate <laughs> for a while, we'll probably want to buy more of those. And I know I said that I would be doing the Valley of Defilement next, which I, I will be doing that next. And while I thought I might start it in this episode, I feel like I don't want to... Uh, that's a pretty large level and there's a lot to do. I don't want to go through only the first little bit of it and then have to stop. So I think I'm going to just end the episode here. And this will be just a shorter one that's just basically sort of me showing... Uh, my farming route and what I did in between to get my stuff upgraded and level up. Because we are approaching the end of the game. We do have to do the pure white and pure black events in uh, Valley of Defilement and Boletaria, and but there's only um, there's only really I think four more bosses before we get to the end so and we're, we're we're just about at we're getting close to level 80 so yeah hopefully this episode was interesting or useful to you in terms of uh finding a place to farm for souls and showing you that you can upgrade a bunch of gear i mean we got how many weapons is that that fully upgraded we got um one, two, three, four, five. We have five weapons fully upgraded, and we, al we almost have a fully upgraded shield, which we could easily do. We just need to go get one more chunk. Maybe I'll do that in between, and I think I think I'll, I'll, I'll upgrade that sword, turn it into the Marion blade, and um, I'm probably going to upgrade a bow. So I'll take care of that in between episodes, and then... The next episode, we'll go through. We'll finally go through the swamp part and the Valley of Defilement. We'll hopefully be able to take all, go through all of that in one episode. So, hopefully you enjoyed this, guys. If you did, please leave a thumbs up, subscribe if you have not already, and I will see all of you next time on Chang Os Journey Through Boletaria. Umbasa. <laughs>